known as country blues and occasionally as false hearted lovers blues how do we play this song first thing we got to do I got my uh, handy electric tuner here I'm gonna clip it on and I'll tell you exactly where I'm at no funny business if I can see this thing so I'm at E C F almost F G, C. So, E, C, F, G, C. And what that is, is one full step below the standard pitch tuning, um, that's F sharp, D, G, A, D. I think people call that, um, a lot of times people call that Doc Boggs tuning. I've heard people use the term dead man's tuning. That may be what they call dead man's tuning. I'm not sure. That's, I think that's some kind of festival term, but that's okay. Um, Doc Boggs tuning works fine. Um, I actually learned it the first time from George Gibson, who's where I learned most of my stuff. And uh, George plays a great piece out of that called uh, t uh, Southern Texas. And he, when he explained it to me as uh, Southern Texas tuning, anytime I mention that to him, I'll, I'll say Southern Texas tuning, and he's like, yeah. So I think that's how people used to describe those tunings back in the day, was just between two people, the song that they both played out of that tuning. Well, enough jabbering about it. So this song has sort of, I do a comp, when I play it two finger, it's, it's pretty complex. So I'll try to run through it straight overhand for y'all. Look out in the near future for the close-ups. I'll show you overhand, two-finger, upstroke, whatever. We'll see what people want. Um, but the easiest way for you to, to learn this is to be to listen to the recordings of, of Doc Boggs. Um, and not just his 1960s recording. Listen to um, his old 1927 or 28 recording of False Hearted Lovers Blues. Um, and also listen to the 1960s folkways recordings, where I believe he it's it's listed in the in the tracks as uh, country blues, but I think he also mentions in the liner notes that it was also known as hustling gamblers. I prefer that title. I think it's a little more descriptive than just calling it country blues, because country blues to me is more of a genre or a style. So um, hustling gamblers, how do we do it? The easiest way is going to be for you all to learn the basic left hand shapes I'm going to show you for this and then just pick it up from recordings or other videos of me or something. So you get in that tuning and the main thing, your, your, your pointer finger is always going to stay on the third string at the second fret. It's pretty much, that's its home. You lift it up once in a while, I do, to get a fuller sound, but this is the key that you play the whole piece out of. Then your ring finger is going to do a little dance, you'll notice, between the first and second string. So sometimes it'll be on the second string at the third fret. Sometimes it'll be on the first string at the third fret. So you get those little bluesy sounds. Then your middle finger, the only thing it ever does in this song is it notes the, uh, the, the bass string at the third fret. real bluesy sound in peace. I think it's awesome. It's one of, one of the earliest songs that I learned when I was younger. So,
<laughs> so you start off on the, uh, you're, you're noting the third string at the second fret with your index finger, and then your ring finger comes in, you play the second string open, then note it. Come on, then the first string open a couple times. You good, then note that first string. Time, P, he, 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 po. See what I did there? Come off the, the third string, then note the bass string, then the third string open, then the bass string closed again, then note the third string. P, he, 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 po. Um, and I think Doc Boggs sings it a little different. I don't. I actually don't remember how, but that's the way I do it. I just drag out that word. People, people, while I've got the money to spend. This is a great one. A great example of a piece that's that's not sung and picked note for note. And so, in other words, your voice and your and your finger aren't picking a note per per word you're dragging words out over many notes kind of doing this number people seem to like those tunes they ask me about that sometimes but anyhow um, it gets pretty complicated in there and um, probably the best way for for me to to show you is for you just to look out for the close-ups that I'll post next and you'll be able to learn it from that but but in the meantime just just remember it's these these shapes and also incidentally you can play a lot of music, especially a lot of Doc Boggs music, out of out of this tuning in this shape, F sharp D G A D, with your index finger on the third string at the second, your ring finger moving back and forth between the second string at the third and the first string at the third, and then your middle finger coming down and hitting the bass notes on that bass string. Look out for those close-ups. I'm going to post that up next. And do give me some feedback if you want me to go into more detail uh, or show you anything else. Let me know. Uh, okay, look out for the close-ups next. Thanks for looking. <laughs>